they're like living dragons, really. There's nothing else that looks like this. Apart from you this morning when you turned up with your hair, actually, you looked quite like you styled yourself like a sun gazer. You know, you say owners start looking like their pets. Then you start looking like your study animal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, listen, madam, you're going to go off and you're going to find yourself a boyfriend and make lots of little baby lizards. Go! <laughs> On your marks. Get set. Go. Go on, girl. Go on. Yeah. You like lizards quite a lot, though, don't you, Shiv? Very much. Yeah, because I've seen it. I've seen your earring. It's a bit of a giveaway. Yeah. When you get into a project like this, you want to be the savior, kind of. I think you'll be the savior of the lizards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so. Burrowers like the sun gazer are found all over South Africa, where protective tree cover is in short supply. There's the aardvark, an anteater with the snout of a pig, the ears of a rabbit, and the tail of a kangaroo. They can weigh as much as a human. Aardvark burrows are often taken over by the honey badger. But the honey badger doesn't give a damn. He's such a badass. But for one of South Africa's oddballs, its protective burrow is turning into its tomb. You won't believe what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and rehouse a spider. We need that. You need a big knife. We need a big okay. knife. This is Donald. This Donald Stridum. And Donald's the patron say to this spider. We're going to do some aggressive research. Aggressive research? We're going to need the relevant equipment here. Donald served in the South African Army and is ruthlessly Miles. efficient. You don't want to leave anything behind. You don't want to, you don't want to leave anything no, behind, no. no. stuck in the bush somewhere. The spider we're after is known as a tarantula in most of the world. Here, it's called a baboon spider. We have water containers, yes, check. Let's take some weather monitoring equipment. Do we need gloves? Uh, I, uh... We need to get camera, GPS, uh, we don't need gloves. Okay. Spider safari. Yeah. So these spiders, they only really live in, in this area around here. About 150 kilometer radius from where we are now, and that's it. The only place in the world that you find this spider. That's the problem. Throughout Southern Africa, tiny areas are home to unique animals found there and nowhere else in the world like the sun gazer, the cape vulture, and the golden brown baboon spider. 